Yeah, it's super cool how all these things like kind of like intersect and you think about like philosophy and theology and analytic, all that stuff. Like it's just fun to right. see how it all kind of comes together. And like as Christians, like it should come together if we have like a holistic like worldview of thinking about the world. Mm -hmm. Um, but for today we're talking like the New Testament and things like this and like trying to understand just at like a surface level, at least, like what is the New Testament? So if someone to ask you, Nick, um, your channel is the New Testament theologist, so you better have an answer. Um, what is the New Testament? W what would you say? Uh it is uh it is a collection of 27 first century documents, uh, usually built upon the assumption that Jesus Christ is raised from the dead, and they are in uh, a testament to that reality. And so they are historical theological documents centered around either the activity of someone, the life of someone, or the implications of all those things by someone. And so uh, you could say, you could, it's very easy to say it's all about Jesus, but it's a very trite thing to say. But in some sense, it's true. that. But then the question becomes, uh, say, Hebrews views Jesus as high priest versus, say, Paul, who has a much more new or much different view of who Jesus, or what Jesus does. And the issue is, are they contradictory or are they coherent? Meaning, are they disparate pieces that are meant to be viewed in isolation or are they meant to be viewed in some sense as interlocking or, as you would say, a... Um, a uh, a diamond. You look at a diamond a certain way in the light, you twist it, you see something different. And so uh, that's kind of one of the other issues in Pauline theology is how much interplay do you have between those? And so that's how I view the, I think the New Testament is basically as a collection of historical documents that make theological claims about the God of Israel and what the God of Israel did in Jesus Christ. And now how the people of God in light of that act in the first century.